Participatory designing is designing anything, actually, any artifact, but in our case, computer software, with the participation of stakeholders in that product. Now, that includes users themselves, the people who will actually be using it. Yes, they help us design, hands-on. It also includes the developers, the people who actually implement and architect the software under the covers to provide that user experience. And occasionally, and, uh, some other people like product managers and so on. So we use all of those people to do co-designing with us, usually starting with paper and pencil. Kid scissors to cut up all these things, because when I get on airplanes, they don't let me take the pointy scissors anymore. So I have a whole kit full of these basically kindergarten tools that I take with me. We do this designing around tables, not with paper on walls, because that's too hard for everyone to participate in. Sitting around a table, these, this very carefully selected set of participants with facilitation by me to make sure everybody's playing well. And, and the reason for the low-tech materials is number one, they're cheap. That's not just for budget reasons. That means if somebody does something that they don't like, they won't hesitate to rip it up and throw it on the floor because it was just a piece of paper. We do it because it's fast as well, because even if you don't know how to program, you certainly remember your kindergarten skills and you can draw a picture. It also means that when we design, we don't have to ask in words and have someone describe to us what they want, and then we try to translate it into actual designing because we will inevitably distort it. So instead, you can just say, well, draw what you want, and it doesn't matter how ugly it is, how they draw it because, of course, you can refine it, you can wad it up, throw it on the floor, and do it again in a more refined way. So we have a progression of design methods and tools that we use, starting with very low-tech ones. In fact, before even the prototyping, the designing I was talking about, we have an anthropologist, an ethnographer, who's also a designer on our team. She goes off and observes in a usually very kind of intrusive way because she engages the participants as well in co-designing, but at a higher level that, that's broader and involves their entire work process and work situation. Then we, she hands it off to us, we get into more of the details of designing, and then we start doing more refined paper prototypes and drawings, but still real computer code. And then eventually we get to computerized prototypes that actually run. And in each of those stages, we get users involved again to try those different artifacts, the paper prototypes. We actually test the paper prototypes and the computerized prototypes until we get to actual product, which we send out and again have people test. So it's a whole long process that's very, very um, iterative. It goes round and round and it's very messy, but it works its way very fast to the ultimate design.